bad me suppose. It's not your fault. Bruce, what are we doing back here? You see the movie going on? Yeah. You think she's back there? Do we make that a habit for hiding here? What? Why should that be made a habit? Look, let's go. Joy's obviously not back here. Now I get a flash again. Look, Joy's not back here. I'm leaving. I know the magic, Mr. Carlos. Only look, Mr. Carlos. No touching. You can look and not touch me. Joy said the magic is looking only. Stop! You're not supposed to touch me! You're not supposed to touch me! Forgive me for mentioning it or beat me up here and now. I'm just messing with you. You're still my friend. Oh, thanks. Now let's just forget all that stupid stuff that doesn't matter. Want to learn magic? Yes. I learned in school a word called inflammation. It happens when the tissues under your skin swell up. Some cases are arthritis or diabetes. Some people's ankles swell up with severe diabetes. Inflammation is not magic. So, what's the magic over men and boys? When they see a girl's chest swell up with inflammation. It is absolute magic. When men and boys see a girl's chest during inflammation, boys go into stun mode. And I don't understand why. I remember a small swimming pool in our backyard when I was six. At six years old, I didn't need a top to wear while playing in the pool. I was fitting in with all the other four to six year olds. Then, I guess around seven or eight years old, my mom gave me a bikini with a top to wear. And I had no idea why. I just wanted to fit in with all the other four to six year olds. Now, I see them still growing. I noticed Boys act strange. When men and boys act strange over a girl's natural inflammation, let's be honest, we girls must have magic. Or we have something that can't be explained. Why cover them up anyway? Just a little cleavage makes all the boys like you. When boys like you, the magic begins. Boys will buy you anything from the candy store. Don't matter big boobs or little boobs, they be magic. And if parents don't teach you any morals, we can make real money, just by showing magic. I can't do that in front of people. When you were a baby, how many times did your mom drop you on your head? Beyonce doesn't care what people see or think. Madonna doesn't even care what people see or think. Y'all can't think like a team, because you ain't a team. Come on, let's get out of here. I can't even talk to them. I'm glad she's gone. Why? She's cool. Is it because she isn't holy? No. It's because she's a fast girl. Fast girls? What are fast girls? A fast girl is my mother's generation. Girls our age who wear makeup, tight-fitting clothes, short skirts, they use curse words, smoke, drink alcohol, and they hook school. Oh my god, those things sound like fun. Why say oh my god when you claim God doesn't even know Because everybody you. says it, dummy, when they're surprised or scared, or they just messed up something. Everybody says it. Oh, just call God when you're surprised or scared or just mess up something? 
We can't believe and so we can't see. If people are really souls, why are they born just to die? Welcome to the Why God Why Club. But it isn't fair. Why should God be fair? I'm done talking about God with you. I feel like I'm in Sunday school instead of the program. Have you all seen Joy? Yeah. No. Cat, where's Joy? I think Joy's going to kill herself. That's the voicemail she left me. What's going on? What happened? What happened? I'm dating my 12-year-old girlfriend's stepfather. That's what happened. Do you sleep with her? Okay, have you ever wondered why thousands and thousands of priests all over the world get in trouble from less than little boys? It's not because they don't have wives. It's because thousands and thousands of Boy Scout leaders all over the world do have wives, and they do get in trouble from less than little boys. And then people like you and the rest of society want to castrate them men. Yes. Look, Kat, God knows I want to castrate them men too. Then a little voice in me says, maybe they have a secret sickness. And I start thinking to myself, at least I don't mess little boys. No. My secret sickness is teenage girls. Kat, do you realize in our next door state of Delaware, 14 year old girls can get married legally? I start thinking, shouldn't it be true here in Maryland? I can't agree with you. Look, it is 2005. We have evolved into a better society. Marriage was created for one woman and one man, period. Exactly, period. Yeah. So shouldn't you be happy for them 14-year-old girls in Delaware? Then? No, Carlos. In my opinion, that is sick, and your 12-year-old oh. stepdaughter is not your wife. Wait, I checked everywhere in the house where this girl could be hiding. Now, do you? All your friends know any other hiding place that she has? You know, I've got to give you some credit. You are going to make me into a better person. Because my life is out of control. My 18-year-old cousin was murdered by her father and brother in Michigan because she was pregnant by her boyfriend. In her culture, the men call it an honor killing. They hold their heads up high in jail because she dishonored her family. Plus, you are not the only one with a secret sickness. A pedophile priests, boy scout leaders, they are not the only ones with secret sicknesses. Twelve-year-old girls can get a secret sickness. I became sexually active at 12. And I need to get my life in control again. Look, Cap, we need to find Joy. Now, do you or them girls know where she could be at? Patrice and I will check for Joy behind the basketball Thank you. courts. Eunice, you and Mr. Carlos, go look for Joy behind Wiggles Market. Patrice, come on, you're with me. for hiding here. What? Why should that be made a habit? Look, let's go. Joy's obviously not back here. Now I get a flash again. Look, Joy's not back here. I'm leaving. I know the magic, Mr. Carlos. Only look, Mr. Carlos. No touching. 
You can look and not touch me. Joy said the magic is looking only. Stop! You're not supposed to touch me! Come here! Oh. Come here! Stay down! Tie him up, oh. Eunice, with that jumping rope! Joy, what are you doing? Don't talk to me! Come on, Eunice, tie him up! Joy, I'm your stepfather. You I don't you... want to hear it from you! You have How a gun you on ever? me! How could you ever? Just give me the rope! Joy, I didn't even do anything to you. Put your hands behind your back. Joy, you don't have to do this. I do have to do this because you. Ugh, I can't even talk right now. Give me the gun. No. You have to give me the gun. No. Give me the gun. No. Eunice. No. Eunice, you have to give me the gun. No, I give no. me the gun. I understand that you're mad, but you have to give me the gun. No. Ugh.